Hello and welcome to another UMake tutorial. My name is Nico and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to make some stands for these speakers. This is actually the second part of a how to make some speakers tutorial series we're doing in UMake. So let's jump right into it and make some stands for these speakers. All right, so right now we have kind of a larger speaker and a smaller one and we want to attach them with a stand. In addition to this, let's make a 2.1 system or a system that has a like two sets of speakers and then a controller. So let's get started. I'm actually going to go to the front view here and I am going to come over and turn on symmetry. I'm going to activate the z-axis symmetry and then using the lasso tool down here I'm going to tap and hold and select both of these speakers. If I drag both speakers over with the symmetry turned on, you'll see that I get another set and I'm just going to drag them over right about there. That should be okay. And when I'm done with that, just tap done. All right, so now I have two sets of speakers. Let's create some stands for this. To do this, I'm going to go back over to the front view. I'm going to tap and hold close to the speakers and create a sketch plane. This means that if I orbit around if I sketch a line right about here, whatever I sketch from the side view will actually be sketched on that, on that plane. And that's a really easy way to offset your plane that you're sketching on. So let's sketch a profile curve for the speaker stand. I'm going to do something kind of like that. Come in and edit this. Clean it up a little bit. And I did this because I actually sketched a, sketched a curve here because I wanted something a little bit more organic, something a little bit different, and not so perfect, if you will. I think it'll go better with the actual design of the speakers. So there we go, and you can see that that curve is now over by the speakers on either side. I'm going to come back to the front view, and I'm actually just going to use the extrusion tool to create an extruded surface. So I'm going to come, once I select that curve, I'm going to tap extrude, extrude out like this, about the same width as the bottom speaker there. right there. And once I'm done, just tap done and we can look at the surface. By all accounts it looks pretty good, but I actually kind of want to add a little bit more dynamism to the design. So I'm going to come over to the front view again and I'm going to select this edge curve here and just rotate it in a little bit and then move it in just a tad bit more. And I'll do the same thing with this side as well. Rotate it. Oh. And then bring it in as well. Now you get something that's a little bit lighter and more dynamic. It's a pretty interesting set of speaker stands. So that is how you can quickly and easily create a speaker stand. You can do a lot of other things. You can kind of create some boxes around it, but I just wanted to show you this technique where you can create something that's a little bit different, a little bit more modern looking. You could imagine this as an extruded piece of aluminum or something with the speakers in their housing kind of wedged in it. That's all for now in this tutorial. We'll have more coming up on our YouTube channel. If you have any questions or comments or feedback for us, feel free to let us know on our YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter pages. We'd love to hear from you. Hope this was helpful and have a great day, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.